Hi! Oh my god, Chaos again. We've had the fourth episode of uh, New Dawn of Tuning. At uh, this time, I am trying to give uh, my Blackwing deck. Of course, Blackwings uh, get new support uh, in. Uh, got new support in uh, Premium Pack 17. And we are probably go going to get that new support in Premium Girl 2. Uh, Black Wings uh, were a deck uh, that were uh, very powerful in uh, when they were released in 2009. They were pretty much one of the dominating decks alongside uh, a Synchro Cat. Uh, they got uh, hit pretty hard uh, by the banlist uh, uh, over the times. Gale was limited. Uh, then the Black Whirlwind was limited in even colored, but now they have gotten uh, pretty much everything back. They are pretty much at full power now, and even, and now with a uh, new support as well. But they are still not uh, powerful enough to compete with the uh, current decks because the current top decks are um, far more powerful than Black Wings. So yeah, the power creep is real. For sure, but they are still a pretty decent tech and pretty consistent tech. But they do need to get uh, access to Black Whirlwind as fast as possible, otherwise you're not going to do much, uh, going to lose uh, way too much advantage uh, without it. This series, a new tone of tuning, has been doing pretty well so far. Uh, the videos uh, have gotten a decent amount of likes, so I'm pretty glad about that, so uh, thanks for that. So yeah, always if you like the video, then of course uh, make sure you actually like it. Uh, click, click that like button so I know uh, that what I'm doing is uh, good, I guess so, and kind of encourages me to do uh, more videos and all that. Artrogios at this point. Mm. Yeah, probably should take a stack just in case. Destroy the Artrogios and uh, Noble Knights of Round Table. I'm a punch just surrendered, so I won my ass pretty fast. Okay, so let's go to the next trial back soon. And I'm back, so let's see how it goes this time. I'm not really the biggest fan of Black Wings, I don't think they are the most exciting deck. I just wanted to try them out with the new support and they kinda fit the series because they have been pretty much one of the most iconic uh, uh, synchro based arch types. Hmm, what is this deck? Uh, dragon rulers maybe or light swan dragon rulers? Probably something like that but I won't run anything like duality in there. It's definitely something Dragon Ruler related, that's for sure. Hmm. Not sure what I should actually do. I, I didn't get Black Warrant this time, which kind of sucks. I guess I just uh, know someone Blackwing Chris the uh, Crack of Dawn, one of the new cards and then Spurzman Bora, so get some damage in as fast as possible Unfortunately, I haven't really gotten any uh, 
uh, new subscri subscribers lately, which is kind of fortunate. I do want to get at least uh, uh, 200 subscribers by the start of April, because then uh, it's going to be my uh, four year anniversary of the channel. At least uh, from uh, when I posted my first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh video. Of, well, of course, I have already mentioned it before that I was uh, completely inconsistent at the start. And yeah, I didn't have the capabilities I have now to, to make videos. Wow, what is this deck like? Milling all the cards. Some sort of blue eyes dragon roller. I have no idea. Now, probably. This deck probably wants, wants to summon that uh, Dark Matter Dragon. More than likely. Which kinda sucks for me. Because I really hate that uh, number 95. Because it makes the Dragon Rulers completely broken. And I get uh, 3 Dragon's effects, so my opponent can't go for rank 8. But if my opponent has another Water Dragon, then my opponent still is going to be able to do that, so might not have been the greatest move, quite honestly. And it's my turn. Not a Shura, wow, free Shura in my hand. Wow, seriously? Well, I guess I summon it. And, uh, First, I think I'm going to XC summon into a Raid of the Four Strix, which of course uh, is actually XC's monster, monster meant for Raid at first, but it actually helps uh, Black Wings as well because it searches for any uh, for Dark Wing Beast monster from, from the deck. A very nice card. The next bit, Shura's effect, getting me, yeah, Pinot card, a waxing moon, another a new Blackwing card, level 3 tuner, and uh, it's basically like a scarm if it's sent uh, from the field to the graveyard. I can search for a Blackwing monster from the deck. So now I'll synchro summon into a Blackwing Armor Master. And my turn and get Pinaco's effect. Hmm. I think uh, I should get Blizzard so I can go for level 6 synchros. Uh, you can expect some uh, real-life deck profiles uh, very soon again. Uh, uh, one of them is going to be uh, uh, no, one of the decks that uh, uh, is um, on the series, actually, the last deck. I think uh, you might uh, guess uh, what it is. So you're going to yeah, see the deck even before I will uh, play it. Uh, uh, in this area, so yeah. Well, I think it's game over. And my pants surrendered, of course. So, uh, let's go on next duel. We still have quite a lot of time. And I'm back again. So, let's see how it was this time. So far, this deck is doing gap uh, very well. It's definitely a very decent uh, deck. But it also requires quite a lot of, lot of skill to use properly. It's a uh, more of control based deck rather than like a massive spam. But you can also, of course, uh, 
spam the field as well, but uh, uh, if you're going through that, uh, you might get uh, punished uh, for that because uh, I, uh, black wings uh, black wings can't really float, basically, at least most of them. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, punch just lost connection. I guess it was some sort of a storyteller deck. So yeah, I really hate these kinds of decks, like, you know. So I guess uh, let's go to the next duel once again. And I'm back again. I guess I will go first this time. Hmm, this end is definitely not the greatest, but I can do something, I guess. Just a normal summon the Gale. Set up two Black Sonics and Icarus deck. So let's see what my opponent is playing. One sets a back row and a face down monster. Hmm. Probably not going to cross attack now. Because I have no idea what my opponent is playing. So it could be something like Shadow Monster. So I'm just going to, going to attack. And see what that face down monster is. That should give me a give me an idea what my point is playing. Nightmare penguin. Okay. I guess some sort of a penguin that I have no idea. Probably something like that. Uh, penguins are definitely a deck that. I need a lot of support to be viable as an archetype at all. No, oh, I'll find tribute for the Great Emperor Penguin. Okay, that's fine, I guess. One now can summon two penguins from the deck. But I should have Icarus attacked already. So that was my mistake. Two no penguins. Yeah. So I'm going to use Icarus attack now. Destroy them both. Our opponent can summon it from the cave when a penguin and Morse's effect is activated, so I still have to be pretty careful. With no more summon Pora. Oh, Fence Chain, that's fine. I don't even care. So let's see what, what my bond can do. Hmm, a lot of darkness. I guess I will use it. That blizzard is not really Helping him much currently. Hmm. Yeah, banish colored. Special summon Blackwing Kale variant. But there is one problem for. That could be something like Penguin Soldier. Ah, that is too much of a risk. Yeah, I probably should have just attacked first and 
Let's see what this. No, actually, it shouldn't attack. But first. This is such a hard choice, quite honestly. Just gonna shoot something into Yazi actually. So it can't be targeted. Then with the penguin chosen or nightmare penguin, I definitely have to be very careful. Just going to attack. Oh, it's puny penguin. Okay. Next more plant can summon a, a penguin monster from the deck. Or from the graveyard, I mean. Yep. And I'm going to end my turn. <coughs> yeah, definitely kind of an, on, on, on an annoying deck. For sure. Now I get you, well, that sucks a lot. Oh well, what can I do, I guess? Oh no. Well, it is going to get banished now. Yeah, no point in activating fresh chain now. I can handle losing one of my black sonics. Another nightmare penguin. And I lose the other one as well. I mean, it's pretty problematic for me, for sure. I might lose to a penguin deck. Yeah, that's kind of painful. And Bahamu Shock. I think I'm going to finish chain that. So I'm definitely losing a lot of resources currently. Oh, that definitely might be a penguin sorcerer or something. Yep. But I'm going to activate Finch Chain on Palm Shark. I definitely made a misplay at the start of the duel by not uh, using Icarus attack on the Peak Emperor Penguin uh, when it was summoned. But since I wasn't not uh, really aware like uh, what the effects of the Penguin monsters really yeah, were, so I couldn't really make uh, a great move. So I should have red effect uh, properly first before yeah and I'm screwed probably yep this is definitely not good at all penguin soldier
אבל... נעשה את כל המזל. But still not enough to kill them. But I only have 550 life points. Yeah. Probably not going to survive this. But there's only one hope. And that hope is Black Rose Dragon. But if my attack gets stopped, then I'm pretty much screwed. And of course, a mirror of us. Yay. Well, well, too bad. Well, so it is it for this uh, ape stuff, a new tone of twink. Unfortunately, I lost to penguins, yeah, mostly because, um, yeah, I made a misplay at the beginning of the duel, but oh well, what can I do? So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of a new tone of toning. Uh, for now, uh, goodbye and Omar Chaos, out.